in many ways 2016 has been a really difficult year and it really presents us with some challenges but in the midst of that I think there have been some real causes for celebration at Pembroke. First of all it's the 20th anniversary of the foundation of the Corporate Partnership Programme and that's been something the College has been proud of and it's unique to Pembroke. Secondly, out of the terrible events of Joe Cox's murder we have established a scholarship for the study of uh, refugees and migration and that PhD studentship that has met with a tremendous amount of support from the whole Pembroke community. We're really proud of the way Pembroke people react to that. One of the most heartwarming things this year was on Giving Tuesday when members of the Pembroke community raised over £16,000 for the Joe Cox PhD studentship. Thirdly, it's been great to see so many Pembroke members and members of the Pembroke College Circle at events all the way around the world and in the UK and we're really fantastically pleased with the turnouts that we're getting and the interest that people are showing in us. And finally, as ever, we're incredibly grateful to all the Pembroke members and other friends who've been so generous to us with their time, their advice and of course their financial support. So thank you very much and best wishes for Christmas. It's been an extremely successful term for music at Pembroke. We've introduced a new weekly recital series raising money for the Syrian refugee crisis, getting musicians from Oxford, Cambridge and London together to make music in this chapel. That's raised nearly £2,000 just in this term alone. Alongside that, we've had the Sir Arthur Bliss Song Series, where professional singers come in and give performances to a completely packed house in the old library. And then lastly, the choir have been going from strength to strength. They gave a performance of Foray's Requiem to a full audience in here. They also did the Foray for Remembrance Sunday, again to a very large congregation. And they did a wonderful carol service with standing room only, a real testament to what they've achieved this term. We also have plans to go on tour to Zambia in September, so really it's very exciting times for music at Pembroke. In the bleak and I'm a first year PhD at the Faculty of Law. Um, I come from Sudan and this is my first time living in Cambridge and in England generally and I love being a member of the Graduate Parlour because it feels very much at home. Um, I'm really enjoying just the community, enjoying the setting of Pembroke in town and just the graduate life here is very warm and festive most of the time and there's just a lot to do. Hello, I'm Craig, I'm the president of the Graduate Parlour. Oh, hi, I'm Chloe, I'm the outgoing JP president. Hi, so I'm Oliver, the incoming um, president of the JPC. Um, we've had a really busy year this year, um, so aside from the wonderful Bake Off competition every Saturday. Um, we've been integrating fourth years into the graduate parlour. Uh, Finding out a lot more about how the college works on like a policy level. Uh, we've been having talks from Pembroke's wonderful fellows about how to climb the illustrious ladder of academia. Um, interacting with staff members in meetings and basically like seeing how change can work. Um, We've been raising money for the refugee crisis and scholarships. I've also learned a lot about leadership and working with groups of people to like motivate them um, and planning events and that sort of thing. And we've also been having talks from the master um, about his time when he was a postgraduate here as well. I'm really looking forward to trying to continue the work I've been uh, put, putting forward as the ex food and bar officer um, with relation to just getting feedback from the whole student body and putting it forward to the senior staff. Uh, in the future we're really excited to be setting up a, uh, a women's dinner to follow on from the success of the Founderous Lunches um, and we're also intensely excited to be giving our input for the Mill Lane development and creating a wonderful space for graduates for centuries to come. <laughs> Two thousand and sixteen was a fantastic year for international programs at Pembroke. 
In the summer, we had 350 amazing students from universities all around the world attend our eight-week flagship Pembroke King's summer programme. The Pembroke College Circle also reached a milestone of 3,000 members, and this is an association largely for former summer school students to have a lasting, lifelong relationship with Pembroke. In IP, we also had a new director start in September, Dr Daniela Passolt, who had been the deputy director and she was made a fellow in October. She has all sorts of exciting plans for the development of international programmes um, and we're all looking forward to working with her in the years ahead to implement those plans. Looking ahead to 2017, we've had unprecedented interest in next year's summer programme already with over 300 students creating accounts on our application system. We've got 32 students attending our spring semester programme, which is a programme for students um, who wish to matriculate at Pembroke and University and take courses for credit at their home universities. And also, next year will be the 40th anniversary of IP, and we're planning to celebrate it with a series of profiles on the college website, um, and it'll culminate in an exhibition in November. So please follow the website to see what we're up to. This year, for the first time, we're employing a rare book cataloguer one day a week and uh, she started off by cataloguing our very earliest printed books, our incunables. We have a wonderful collection, a very special collection of about 115 and this is the first time that they've been catalogued online and they'll be much more accessible now and people will get to know about them. I brought this example up from our lock section. It's a 1474 book with a beautiful illumination and uh, foliate design. Um, it's, it has annotations as well, so it's a very good example. It also has a very interesting provenance, and all this will go on the catalogue record now, so people will be much more aware of our wonderful collection. In the future, we're hoping that uh, Adriana will catalogue um, the Lancelot Andrews collection, which will make um, some of our really important rare books more accessible and well known. Hi, I'm Katie, I'm a third year HSBS student. Hi, I'm Neil, I'm a third year economist. We think sport is a really, really important part of college life. You know, it promotes a sense of community and it's a really good way to spend some social time with your friends. Yeah, definitely. The year at Pembroke um, in terms of sport has been successful. The, f the football first reached the Cup's final and unfortunately came out second best against Robinson, though they carry on fighting. Uh, the rugby club has had a strong influx of freshers and hope for a successful season to come. And this year I'm women's football captain and I've never felt more of a motherly sense of pride. It's such an amazing thing to be and we've had such a strong intake this year of 40 extra undergrads and grads, which, which is lovely. Um, we've reached quarter-final in Cuppers and we're hoping to go on tour again to Sicily this year. We went to Malta last year with the men's side too and it was so much fun. So, yeah, a special shout out to the hockey team who reached the Super Cuppers finals uh, in London and also won it against Western College. So we're hoping for another really successful year. Hi, um, my name's Emma Andrews and I'm a first year studying Fizz Natsuki. Um, I started rowing when I was 13 and now I'm rowing for university in the like CW uh, Cambridge team, which is really exciting. Um, Pembroke's been great, the food's amazing, which really helps after training and they've given me my room for the whole Christmas to train. Um, so yeah, it's going really well and I'm really enjoying it. Hello, my name's Kieran Daly. I'm a third year linguist at Pembroke College and I'm also the current access officer. Throughout my time, we've created a new alternative prospectus which is written for students, by students. Um, we've also uh, taken part in the KUSU shadowing scheme in which students from backgrounds that wouldn't traditionally come to Cambridge um, to allow them to shadow a student for four to five days. We're also allowing student volunteers who are current students at Pembroke to help out other interviews and make students that come for interview feel welcome. And we've also um, created access forums in which current students can come to us um, twice a term and give us their views on how we can improve access. Um, in my term still, we have some ideas that hopefully we're going to take through. Um, one of which is a BME targeted access day and the second of which is creating uh, vlogs with current students uh, to show prospective students what, a, what daily life is like at Pembroke College. So 2016 has been quite a year of transformation for me. I stepped into the role of senior tutor in September, taking over from Mark Wormald, my predecessor. Mark has set an amazingly high standard of achievement for the college, and I'm working hard to live up to that. 
I'm lucky enough to have an amazing team in the tutorial office. And together we work to make the environment in Pembroke as conducive as possible to everyone, graduate, undergraduate alike, achieving their own personal and academic uh, ambitions and potential. Looking forward into 2017, it's got a few challenges ahead, ahead for me. On a, on a local level, we've got this opportunity to plan for making the Mill Lane site into, hopefully, a world-beating, once in a generation, once in a century place in which we can have the best learning and interdisciplinary research environment uh, that we could wish for. I think really to cap it all though, for me, my personal ambition is to make sure that we continue to strive forward with what's already been put in place in terms of widening participation so that at Pembroke, this amazing place of learning and achievement, we can make space available for everyone who's able to be here, whatever their background. It's been a very busy term here for all of us in Pembroke, uh, for fellows, for students, for staff, and uh, now of course we have a bit of time to relax over Christmas. But there are even more exciting things ahead of us in the coming term. And I just want to say on behalf of all of us here in college, a very, very happy Christmas to you all. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you